is going on everyone this is jack with the trading tribe and today we are back at it with another futures trade recap this is a trade that i actually exited today but i do want to break down how i got the idea it was more of an overnight swing trade type concept here with crude oil but this is one of the futures contracts that i typically trade month to month and for really all of 2024, we're seeing a lot of upside moves on crude oil. And so it's only a matter of time before I broke one down on the channel. But hopefully this helps for those of you out there dabbling with futures and looking into other futures that offer some really nice momentum as crude oil has been great so far this year. I am using the broker called Thinkorswim, which is through Charles Schwab now. And so if you're not familiar with my brokerage, maybe look it up online through my YouTube channel. I have tons of videos kind of going through how Thinkorswim works. But up here at the top, we can see the ticker symbol, which is forward slash CL. That brings you into the futures contract for crude oil or the front month, if you will, for crude oil. And we've seen really throughout the past 20 days on the hourly here on the left, crude oil's really been in just like a really clean uptrend for the last few weeks at least. We've actually had quite a bit of move up. So if we look at like the daily or any of the other time frames, um, a few months back at the beginning of 2024, we bottomed near 70, which we really have all year. So this has been a really strong support level. And it looks like we're kind of moving back up into the top of this range here. So if we drill in a little bit more, we can see crude is typically between about 68 and 95. So we can see this is really the range that we're working with this year, at least from the daily perspective. And then if we zoom in on the hourly chart, we're obviously zooming in on just that uptrend component of this latest move. And we'll notice here if we zoom in on the last few weeks, right, crude has really just been making these really nice moves higher. Um, it offers some consolidation and then it takes another leg up. And that's really where my idea stemmed from today. So if we look at the current trend, right, we can see that crude oil recently last week actually made this really big move up to around 87 and a half, which is a higher high. And then it essentially gave a really nice pullback towards the end of the session on Friday of last week. And it actually gapped down from Sunday night and offered even more potential up. So when I'm looking for these trades on the hourly, I'm typically looking for pullbacks on the hourly for me to get interested. And the reason there is for a pullback on an uptrend, typically we have another leg higher. And so if you can catch that trade on this move, really that's where most of that profit potential can come from. And just like we saw last week, right, crude had a really nice move higher off of this 100-day moving average. Um, really, I was looking for the same sort of play, right? We pulled back again to that 100-day moving average, and I was playing it to the upside, Obviously, this trade went really well, so I actually got in when it broke VWAP on Sunday night. Here's my entry, and then I actually top-ticked the exit, or close to top-ticked the exit, which was pretty cool. So it actually turned right where I ended up covering, um, as that was just a trend line or a bear flag, bull flag type setup that I was being conscious of. So we can notice, right... Every time crude pushes up, essentially, it gets close to that high or makes another higher high. So I was being very careful as I was up in the profits quite a bit. Now that I've shown my entry and exit, I can also open up my ladder to confirm that I'm out of the trade. So here you can see I am out on the trade for nearly 1.9K. And that was all just using one contract. And so if we look at Friday's session we can see right we had that really big pullback that we were talking about instead of me buying here at the bottom and trying to guess the bottom for crude what i'll typically do here when i'm interested off the hourly is i'll move to the one minute chart here and just wait for it to break through all of my major momentum indicators so you'll notice it got through vwap it got through our moving averages and it also got through our ema as well and that's when I felt confident enough to take kind of my initial trade. Um, the other cool part about this is you can have a really tight stop loss. So 
although I was targeting a pretty large move to the upside, I was able to keep my risk really tight with a stop loss under that low, just in case I was wrong. And if you're new to crude oil, that is a little bit less than $1,000 of risk for over two to $3,000 of profit potential. I ended up making about 1.9, so it was about a two to one risk to reward ratio, which is right in my wheelhouse. And you'll notice right by the time I woke up, this trade was already in the profits, and I really just managed out of that. Got a little lucky on this one. I top ticked the exit. It's not about being perfect, right? Even if you would have sold down below and, and kind of missed the exit up here, right? You still could have walked away with a thousand dollars pretty easily on the trade itself. So if this makes sense, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for a lot more content like this. Hopefully this helps show how I've been able to make money in the markets trading futures and how you can as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and we'll be back next time. Thanks everyone.